Hi, everyone. I'm thrilled tonight to be here with Dr. Eric Goulder and Dr. Barbara McClatchy. Dr. Goulder and Dr. McClatchy are the owners and healthcare providers at the Heart Attack and Stroke Prevention Center of Central Ohio. And tonight we wanna to talk to everyone about their exciting and very important upcoming masterclass. It's on Wednesday night. Um, on the title of the webinar is Heart Attacks Are Optional. So Dr. Goulder and Dr. McClatchy, I wanna talk about that just a little bit. This concept of the oral health and systemic health, if you will, being uh, not only connected, but the oral issues causative of chronic disease is not a new concept for you and I and for many of us that have been practicing the Beldonine method and been focusing on oral systemic uh, health for a long time. However, this concept is still unknown to the majority of people, obviously, as heart attacks are still the number one killer. So I'd like to start with you first, Dr. Goulder, if you would just elaborate a little bit on this concept of heart attacks being optional and on the difference between a preventive focused cardiologist such as, such as yourself. I know you have a long history of an interventional practice, but are focusing on uh, prevention and, and uh, um, discovering early stage disease presently. Thanks, Gina. So uh, what we do at the Heart Attack and Stroke Prevention Center is actually look for early evidence for atherosclerosis or disease, arterial disease. And we do that by doing a CIMT scan, a carotid scan, um, and, and as opposed to standard of care cardiology or end stage cardiology, where if you go in with your complaining of chest discomfort or shortness of breath, your cardiologist is gonna set you up for a stress test. And that's only gonna be able to find more uh, late disease, 70% uh, blockage or more. So once we find early disease, then we have to go looking to see what's driving that. And there's always inflammation. Inflammation is what damages the arteries and allows the cholesterol to build up and cause those blockages. So there's a whole host of things that can uh, drive that inflammatory process. There was just a recent study that came out maybe a year and a half ago called the Canto study, where they absolutely proved uh, what uh, you and I have known for quite a while now that it's inflammation that causes the problem. And there were editorials in all the cardiology journals going, oh my gosh, it's inflammation. Well, you know, we've known this for a long time. The difference is we know that we can control that inflammation by looking at a whole host of underlying root causes as opposed to in the Cantos trial where they used a $20,000 a year drug to stop the inflammation. So we know that we can look for the underlying causes and um, three of those underlying causes fall into Dr. Mc, uh, Dr. McClatchy's uh, ballpark, and that's uh, periodontal disease, endodontic disease, and obstructive sleep apnea. And maybe we'll have her talk about that a little bit. That sounds great. Yes, please, Dr. McClatchy, talk to us about the complete health dentist or the dentist that focuses on the Beldonine method or preventive focused dentist as well. Sure, we understand that 50% of unexpected heart attacks or strokes are driven from bacteria that live in the mouth, whether it's from periodontal disease or root canal lesions. So um, I am responsible for finding any sources of inflammation in the mouth area. Um, we cannot guarantee that our patients will not have a heart attack or stroke without the help of having a dentist looking for sources of infection. And we do that through saliva testing, through looking at 3D cone beam x-rays, looking for sources of um, asymptomatic or, or teeth that are not bothering them, finding infections so that we can deal with them before they cause a problem, as well as screen for obstructive sleep apnea. We know that uh, 10 to 15 years can be taken off your life if you have obstructive sleep apnea, and it also drives blood pressure, et cetera. So at every visit, our patients uh, have their blood, uh, blood pressure taken, review of their health history and their family health history, so we can find out if they are at uh, risk for a heart attack or stroke. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing your perspective. You are definitely the dynamic duo. Uh, everyone listening to this on Facebook Live or listening to our recording later, you want to go immediately to check the link in the comments section underneath this posting so that you can sign up for the webinar. This masterclass will be Wednesday night, January the 30th, 8 p.m. Eastern. 
And um, if you can't make it live, that's okay because you'll get the recording, but you have to be registered ahead of time. So be sure and uh, click the link and, and uh, get registered for this most important uh, webinar. Thank you, Dr. Goulder and Dr. Thank McCoy you. for being on tonight. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Wednesday. Thank so you. are we. Great work.